All right, welcome back. It is a Thursday morning curtain raiser to the weekend. And of course, we are rolling smoothly into Friday, Friday into Saturday, and we relax and we have lots of fun. But before we get to the excitement, just a very quick reminder that Zuri Africa Zimbabwe is holding a pageant on the 29th of October at Talent Village. Um, Zimbabwe will be choosing one contestant who will represent the country at the Talent Showcase Expo and Africa Grand Finale on the 22nd of December 2022 at Sun City in uh, South Africa. Now, if you want to be part of the local audience, all you need to do is answer a very simple question. The question for this week is, when was the first Zuri Africa Zimbabwe Queen pageant held? When was the first Zuri Africa Zimbabwe Queen pageant held? And remember, as you answer that question, to include the hashtags, hashtag Morning Rush, hashtag My Culture, My Pride, hashtag Morning Rush, and hashtag My Culture, My Pride. Now, of course, today we are talking all things films, movies, series, documentaries, the whole lot. And I am joined by Trom uh, Thomas Brickhill, who is a seasoned filmmaker, um, but also with a very long history in the arts. Thomas, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Thank Good you. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been hiding? Um, well, I, I, uh, I, I got stuck in the UK um, oh. over COVID. Oh. When, the, when the plane stopped flying, I was on that side. Oh, um, right. So it took me a while to, to, get, to get find back. your way back. Did you start walking then? <laughs> <laughs> so it took you a while. Hitchhiking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're happy to have you back. We, we wouldn't want to lose you. Now, Thomas, um, like I mentioned earlier, you have, a, you have a very long history in the arts. Um, we look at the days of Book Cafe and beyond that. Um, what are some of the things that you think you've observed in, in just the arts industry in general before we get to filmmaking that you wish you could change? Oof, gosh, that's a, that's a deep question. <laughs> oh, my word. I wasn't expecting that. I thought you'd be thinking about it as you walked back from the UK. <laughs> Um, okay, I think, I think uh, in, in the arts in general, mm. um, one of the things that I'd love to see is, is people filling the gap. Like, w what we're asking of artists in mm. this country is, w I don't think we realize how much it is. Mm. Because in most cases, you're asking of a single person or, or a single entity, a band, mm. to be good at uh, composing songs, good at arranging songs, good mm. at performing the songs, mm. good at marketing themselves, mm. uh, good at you know putting together a whole package uh, for stage, for performance, for whatever. Like in other countries, those things that, that's a whole industry. Right. And here we we're putting so much pressure on the individual artist mm. to come out with a complete package mm. at the end when really, you know, uh, if if they can if they can write the songs and perform them we should be like creating that support structure right. around them. Right. That's, that's what I'd like to see, you know, developing mm. uh, as we go forward. But mm. yeah. How did you find yourself in the art space? Um, I, I, I don't know. I always, <laughs> I always was. No, from school. I, uh, you just woke yeah. up and bam, there yeah. you are. Uh, yes, actually, I can put my finger on the exact moment. Mm. Avondale Infants, I played a Christmas tree. And from there, it was just in the making. <laughs> the tree blossomed. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Now, um, so you're a filmmaker now. Yes. This is, this is where you've decided to set your, your roots. Um, yes. Um, what is the process like for you? What is, what is, what, when you talk about a filmmaker, what are we talking about? What are you doing? Um, okay. Uh, so a filmmaker really is the person who has a has a vision and makes that vision realized into an actual product at the end of the day. Um, sometimes that means also being the, the writer or the director, but not necessarily. Mm. Um, I think that's also an important uh, you know, definition to, mm. to, to make, that a filmmaker is actually the person who, who gets it done. Right. Um, so sometimes the filmmaker is the producer mm. who's kind of a bit behind the scenes. They don't get to get their, their teeth stuck into the creative parts of mm. it. But without them, the film doesn't get it's made. It's fragmented bits uh, and pieces. You need of somebody whose who's, who's eye is on the final goal, mm. you know, of what are we going to have at the end, which allows the creatives during the process mm. to just focus on their area. You know what I mean? What am I doing? If I'm the costume department, I'm just completely immersed in what are my actors wearing? Mm. How does that change and develop over the course of the story? 
how does it you know blend into the story mm. because every every element of a film should add another layer of complexity mm. which supports the story yes 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 so what is about being this person who fills all these different roles and puts everything together that excites you um look i think there's it's it's literally that that uh, uh, idea that you can have you can have a a concept you can have some little spark of imagination mm. that that you think like oh wow wouldn't it be a great if there was a film about mm. x <laughs> and then you put your work in and mm. then okay a few years later because these things a do few take years time later but then you get to see and you're like yeah this is what i imagined there it is mm. and th there's a re really uh, a, a very fulfilling feeling mm. of of r seeing you know your dreams realized into into an actual real you know thing mm. uh, that's that's what you know inspires me to to, to keep going it. yeah what are, what is what are, i want to ask you one of the strangest places you've had a bright spark in but i feel like that might be a bit <laughs> <laughs> i'll do it anyway what are, what are, what is one of the strangest places you had a bright spark for a, for a film in um <laughs> that is a funny question oh, gosh uh i i don't know i mean i think there's there's literally no no end to the answer to that <laughs> question because you know uh you know I, I, it's a breakfast show but you know you could you could have an idea on the toilet you could have an idea in the shower in the bath you know you can have an idea Middle while you're while you're cooking egg. eggs exactly <laughs> you know you can have an idea while you while you locking your car mm. there's 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 no, because how does the brain work i was going to ask you how does your brain work <laughs> <laughs> um uh, yeah I, i and i think look even there there's 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 a whole another thing like we all we all have ideas mm -hmm. ideas are not valuable mm. ideas only become valuable once you turn them into something and i've i've been in this situation where i had an idea for a film um years years ago actually when i was at university mm. and i'm not going to tell you when that was because <laughs> i'll reveal my age <laughs> big <laughs> secret <laughs> but i had this concept at university and actually went as far i didn't write the full script but i wrote a treatment down about mm. uh, five or six pages of how the film would work and what the idea was and uh, i you know showed it to a few of my friends at that time we were all enthusiastic about how we were going to change the world and make all these crazy mm. uh, film stories and then a couple of years later one of them messaged me and like tom they've stolen your idea yeah. <laughs> right and and someone else had 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 made this film and i have to admit it wasn't exactly the same right. but it was very similar and it's like wow that's weird because i've told, told a couple of people yeah. but i've never really put the idea out there mm. and then you realize just because you had an idea doesn't mean you're the only one yeah if it's a good idea probably Somebody actually lots of people not yeah. even uh, one like lots of people are yeah. having that idea if it's if it was something that's going to be like of the moment of you know uh like this this uh, zeitgeist of a cultural moment mm. or something then then lots of people are having that idea right now and it's who who has the dedication and the discipline to actually sit down and turn that idea into reality mm. and then it becomes theirs and you can't claim that ah oh, i had that idea too early two years earlier but i never did <laughs> never anything did about it you know pointless where does the industry need to go for it to grow um i think okay in the in the bigger picture the main thing that we need in the zimbabwean film industry which is uh something that i imagine in the future because mm. we don't have one mm. right we have we have a group of filmmakers we have a, a lot of very passionate filmmakers but for us to really call it an industry mm. we need to start to have those um companies that don't exactly make films but they exist because there's enough films being made right. like a, a catering company for instance right. that only does films right right they only cater for for film sets then we'd know okay now we've built an industry so we're not there yet mm. and how do we get there i really think we need to attract investment from 
local business, from local investors. Mm. Right? right now, the kind of people who would, they look at, uh, you know, their, their big pile of money, as I imagine, <laughs> you know, they're sitting at home with their <laughs> pile of money, pile thinking, of money. where shall I put it? Where shall I, what shall I do? Mm. And, you know, they think about mining or they think about agriculture, mm -hmm. but they don't think about film mm. and arts mm. as being where they should invest. That's mm. what we need. Oh, Thomas, thank you so much for sitting down with us this morning. I will call you back for more walking from the UK. <laughs>